This vlog is the final day of my three-week Korea trip, and I went to Myeongdong, Namdaemunjiang, and Insadong, all of which are really popular areas. So you'll have a good look of downtown Seoul. Enjoy it without any mid-roll ad interruptions because I disabled that. So without any further ado, my final day in Korea. My friend Jamin bought this for my dad: egg, geranmari eggs. And also kimchi jjigae, which is um, kimchi stew with some meat inside. Cut the raw meat and put it in. So this will be breakfast with my dad. Gonna put in some ramyun noodles, instant noodles into here. The keranmari is ready. As you can see, it's steaming. Apparently, this is soul food when you're having jjigae, the Korean stews. I didn't know. The kimchi jjigae is boiling. I put the noodles in. It is pretty good. Thanks, Jemini. Apparang chal mokko isso, Jemina. Mashinne. Gonna be heading out soon. Just watching a little bit of motorsports. Final day in Korea. Gonna go to. All the touristy spots like Namdaemun, Myeongdong, Insadong. Just have a walk around. It's perfect weather for all that. Look at this. Each subway car has three Wi-Fi routers for different telecommunication companies. Man, Toronto has none of these. We are at Myeongdong, that's the Catholic church and this is the start of the Myeongdong street and it's like a maze inside. That's more like it, that's more what I remember. It's a Saturday so there will be a lot of people, especially later on. Yep, there are already a lot of people and it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. Look at this giant croc. It is like, I don't know, size <laughs> one, 1,000. I think they sell like wasabi, wasabi, almonds, and flavored nuts and stuff like that in their H bath. Wasabi. All these flavored nuts and snacks. Just macadamia nuts, peanuts, wasabi flavor, honey butter flavor, roasted, salted. Oh my gosh. This is an even bigger H bath store. This is huge. <laughs> this used to be a Uniqlo, the main building in Korea, but now it's a H bath nut store. Wow, it's big in here. Popcorns. Almonds. NYU, NYU or new, new? Not sure. Bunch of jewelries in there. Oh, was thirsty, so got a little drink. Mango yogurt. Pretty good. I've never seen a Pixar store before. This is a Pixar pop-up store. They have the Toy Story 3 bear and what is it? Sully? Or something like that? From Monsters, Inc. There's a building and a mini, I don't know, I can't call it a mini, that's pretty big. Bookstore, Hanyang Books. Came here to use the washroom. This is a big Kaiten Sushi restaurant. Just a bunch of rotating items. You can pick any one. Decided to come eat here. That's a Kinder Egg chocolate egg. <laughs> That's funny. It's just an endless stream. Ooh, I think I'm gonna grab that. That's really neat. So tiny. That one was pretty good. Leaving Myeongdong and now going to Namdaemun. The real office is in there. Oh. 
We are in a central area. It's pretty empty here right now. We're headed towards Namdemun. Some shops are open. We are at the start of Namdemun Sijang, Namdemun Market. Looks very different from Yongdong. More like lower cost items. And we'll head towards the main street. Going over to the next street. Look how crowded it is. Okay, this is the main area. One hat is 10 bucks. Oh my gosh, there's just so many stores here. It's just endless. This is a shitload of people right at 12.30. It goes on and on and on. This is Namdemun. It was burnt down a few, several years ago, but they rebuilt it. Namdemun means southern big gate or big door. This is pretty cute. So I just bought a scarf for 18 bucks and my dad was, he didn't say anything at the time, but afterwards he was like, you could have bargained. Here you're supposed to bargain. I could have got it for like 12 bucks or 15 bucks instead of 18 bucks if I bargained for it. But I didn't know, so lesson learned. So this is a scarf I bought at Namdaemun to wear with this jacket. It's a fall scarf. I don't have a fall scarf. All my other scarves are winter scarves, so they're way thicker, way warmer. So I wanted something lighter that I could wear in uh, slightly not too cold weather. And Mochi is right there <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> this is Joseon Hotel. I used to come here to swim in the pool on the second floor. Really nice pool. And year 2000, the New Year's Day, we spent a night at this hotel. If you've watched one of my previous videos, this is the place where the dancing happened. Where I danced on stage. Walking through this old gate. What the hell is this? They are lined up all this way. There's so many people. I have no idea what this is. Are they lined up for food? I don't know why they're lined up for food like that. This is Cheonggyecheon. A whole stream that keeps flowing and you can walk alongside it. I got a decaf latte. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I like it. This is inside Kyobomungo, a huge bookstore. There's one in the near Hyatt, but this is the newer one, the bigger one. This is National Theater. And that's King Sejong. King Sejong is the one who created the Korean alphabet, Hangul. This is the story of Lee Sun Shin. He's famous in Korea, historical figure. And this is the warship, Kobuksan, a turtle ship. Oh wow, you can actually go in the boat. Although it's not, it's more of a tourist area. More tourists here, they don't want the tourists. I am so bored editing this video. I mean, usually when I start editing a video, I'm just locked in. And I don't know if you're finding it as boring as I'm finding it. Maybe it's just me, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people would find this kind of content boring too. I can't wait to make videos where I'm actually entertained to edit them again. <laughs> uh, I've already cut out quite a few boring clips and yet it still seems pretty boring. That's kind of sad. All right, back to the video. And now the story of King Sejong, the one who's known for creating the Korean language, or at least the written language of it, Hangul, the alphabet. 
Before the Korean alphabet was created, people had to learn the Chinese characters, which only made the rich people, educated um, people, learn the language, how to write. But because he created the simple Korean alphabet, uh, the Korean written language became way more accessible even to the working class and the poor class. Look at this old weapon that they used to use, firing arrows. Yeah, arrow rockets. That's a nice view of Gyeongbokgung and the mountain behind it. This is a Buddhist temple. And that's the front entrance to the Buddhist temple. Really, you should get it from the front here. On the left, I'll show you. You have to go there. It's called Hello Insa. We've arrived at Insa Dong. This is a popular tourist area. This, this is Samjikgil in, in Insa Dong. It goes up in circles. Let's go this way and then back. And then I'll show you the new, the new one is over there. It's called Hello Insa. It's on, okay. the, on the left. Anyway, let's go this way. Okay, we're going this way first. That's near the entrance over there, end of one side. Cutesy store filled with little plushy keychains. I got a hot dog. I haven't gotten to the center yet. There's supposed to be brown sugar inside. Finally at the center with the brown sugar inside. That's better. This is inside the Samjikgil. You go up in circles. Are cute Pikachu. Who's a cat? Look at these cat made out of Lego. You can't see because of the reflection. These are cute. Little cute things. This is a cat place. Look at these cat bags and photos. <laughs> the reason I was kind of rushing with the videoing on those like cat bags and stuff like that is because some of the those places say don't use photography or videos so I was being cautious not to get caught but the bags there were cute cat bags this area is relatively new I haven't been here this wasn't here like five years ago this is the Insa Dullekil where we are at, which I just showed you. You can get a bird's eye view of some of the old roofs of these buildings. There's a record store where you can just sit down and listen with headphones. Like this. Headphones right here and record right here. Feet are getting tired, so taking the elevator down. Hello, Insa. And this is the other end of Insa Dong. We are leaving now. It is 3 p.m. I am still so full, but we came for lunch. Gonna have samgyeopsal. Where's samgyeopsal? Over here, so it's belly fat. Yeah, we're gonna cook that. There's the samgyeopsal. Gonna cook it now. Oh my gosh, so much food and I'm full, I'm not even hungry. <laughs> oh boy. This is not bad. Oh man, I only had a few pieces. My dad had the rest. Oh, that was a lot of food. I'm surprised he finished everything. The gridlock here is insane. Just rows and rows of, well, a long line of cars. 
Man, don't want to be driving up this hill. A lot of traffic, a lot of stairs. Almost at the end of the hill though. Almost there. Fuck you, stairs. I'm conquering you. Although I'm getting sweaty. This is the end of the stairs. It is almost 4.30 p.m. Finally arriving at home. Got a pack and might meet a friend in the evening later. We'll see. But I'll get everything packed before I meet that, meet that friend. Final night in Korea. I'm at Hannam La Maison with a friend. This is Ein Spanner, this is a hot one, this is a cold one. Oh my god, that is so good. It's cold cream on top and hot coffee on the bottom. Slightly sweet. Oh, so good. <laughs> Time to dig into some cakes. Whoa, there are fireworks over there. Why are there fireworks today? <laughs> Shit, guys, I don't know if this will close. I bought a lot of stuff <laughs> including the suit and jacket so this is this is bulging that's bulging and that's already expanded uh, i don't know if it'll close i'll have to see if i can put some stuff and this is not even all of it i have to put my toiletries in too hmm okay let's see if this closes this won't even close. Oh, that's heavy. Let's see. No way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Not even close. You better check these two bags. I hope it doesn't go over 20 feet back here. Check it in. Okay, so splitting into two bags. Now this should close. That'll close, that'll close, just, that'll close, just barely. <laughs> oh man, just taking so much stuff, this hotdu guaja, these snacks, two boxes of that. Uh, two bags it is, at least there's an extra bag. Damn, the next time I come to Korea, I'm going to bring two big bags, suitcases, one half filled and one empty, or at least I'll, I'll fill both of them half so that I have a lot of empty space for my trip back. Lesson learned. So tomorrow is my final Korea vlog of me just coming, flying back to Toronto, Canada. And that'll conclude my Korea vlog series. So I'll see you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby.